Hello, I'm Geth Griffith. I'm a double bass teacher here at the Junior RNCM. I'm today I'm with my student Sam, and we're talking about a contact point of the bow and how that changes. Um, Sam, could you just demonstrate a two octave D major scale for us? Great, thank you. So, now, in order to get the same sound as you go all the way up the bass, yep. we need to change the contact point. Yep. The reason for that is that if we start here, yep. by the time you get to the D here, you've actually uh, moved a third of the string. Yep. So the string is now a third shorter. Yep. In order to get the same colour of sound, we're going to have to come a third of the way down here. Yep. By the time you get to this D, that's actually two thirds of the way up. So if you think about it, when you do a scale like this, you need to judge these positions yeah. as you go up. Okay. Can you try the same thing again for us? Maybe start around about there then, yeah. and then think about this distance from here to the bridge. Think about coming in uh, distances of a third. Yeah. Okay. See if you can make those markers as you go up. That's the idea. Exactly. It's easier to do when you're in a scale like this. We've just been looking at a piece that you've been playing, a romance, yep. and in that it's harder, especially when you're in the middle of a fast semiquaver passage, we were just yep. discussing this, to keep that going and to think about moving your bow down towards the bridge. Yep. Um, so what I've done, Sam has already tried this once before with me, but I've developed a little device here. This is uh, actually a copper brazing rod. It's something you can buy from uh, any high street store, any high street DIY store. Um, I've made a bend here and I've put some blue tack here. So there's three big bobs of blue tack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this underneath Sam's fingerboard. Underneath the fingerboard, there's usually a little bit of a hollow here. So, what I'm going to do is put this underneath here like that. Now this is going to give Sam a reference from where to play from. Some students are, uh, find it difficult to go towards the bridge and to stay towards the bridge all the time. Sam's getting better and better at this, definitely. But I'd just like you to demonstrate this, Sam, and have a go for us with this. Yep. What this means is it's going to give us a reference point so that um, just remind Sam not to go any lower than this when he's playing this passage. Obviously we can move this, we can move it even closer towards the bridge or a little bit back if we need to. It's good to use blue tack here because if you accidentally knock into it with the bow, it just gives a little bit and then returns. So hopefully, he says, it won't fall off and damage the student's beautiful base. Okay Sam, do you want to just have a little bit of play of this um, passage? Do you want to go from, sure. go from there? Sounds great. Um, 